welcome to Boss Action Media. Oh, where we just don't get radio. Today we will discuss the truth about the Islamic religion. Islam, the religion practiced by one out of every four people on planet Earth. As you may have noticed, the religion of Islam seems to be easier to discover online. And when I say the religion of Islam, I mean the actual religion of Islam and not what the news tries to pass off as the Islamic faith. The religion that 99.9999% of Muslims actually practice. And not what Hollywood has depicted Islam to be over the past few decades. Actual Islam has been easier to find, especially since the United States withdrew from Afghanistan and since Russia has invaded Ukraine. But that is another topic. You might have wondered why Muslims are depicted so crazy, and why they are presented as backwards and the origins of extremism. Well it is incredibly easy to explain. About 200 to 50 million years ago, planet Earth had these creatures called dinosaurs. Dinosaurs such as Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex, Velociraptor, Brontosaurus and etc. The one thing all these prehistoric giant reptiles have in common is that they went extinct for some reason, millions of years ago, only to be discovered later on as fossil fuel. That can make cars run, airplanes fly, heat homes and a bunch of other shit. Some dude named Edwin L. Drake, discovered you can drill for oil in the year 1859, and then in the late 1800s, it was discovered that the Middle East has the world's largest collection of oil, and then for some reason, it was right around that time that Europe and other countries started to destabilize the Middle East, but long story short, when you destabilize a part of the world, let's say the Middle East or Africa or wherever, you pretty much induce conflict, in order to take the natural resources, a heck of a lot easier and cheaper. Oil, or fossil fuels, is known as what economists call a non-renewable resource. In other words, there is no such thing as an oil tree you can plant anywhere and just give you oil. You find oil, and that is it. What made things worse? for the people in the Middle East is that the Middle East is a desert, and digging for oil in a desert with loose sand is a hell of a lot easier to dig for than on bedrock. Anyway, as you can imagine, when you destabilize a region, usually the people in that area are pretty upset. Hence, all the madness we have seen with terror groups doing all kinds of crazy shit. So the conflict was never about religion. The conflict was about resources. However to make people sleep better at night, it was sold as crazy Muslims are pissed off because America has Bud Light, and freedom of speech and girls who are made of plastic. The truth about Islam, is that it is basically like Christianity except Muslims believe that Jesus Christ was a prophet, and not a god. That is about it. A few small things here and there but it is practically the same religion. At least it used to be. Let me explain. First there was Judaism. But the Jewish people kept adding things, and taking things out of their religion. God sent Jesus, and told them to stop doing that, and that is when Christianity came around. Then Islam came around about 600 years later and told Christians and Jews, that there is only one God, the God of Abraham, and they need to go back to their original Bible, and Torah and blah, blah, blah etc. This is a complicated topic, that cannot be covered in one video, and I am not, about to turn this into a religious channel. However, over the past year or so, the internet has become overpopulated with what I am going to call, Andrew Tate Muslims. They are nice enough people, however doing push-ups and making money is all good, but I am pretty sure God didn't tell us it was a sin to skip leg day and that doing 500 push-ups a day is a requirement of Islam. And Neo and the Matrix and Agent Smith and, what the heck is going on? There is so much confusion out there. I just need to help to set the record straight. However there, is another reason I am speaking out about this. And that is because of these people known as Muslim reverts. A Muslim revert is someone who discovers Islam and converts to the religion. They call themselves reverts because they believe they are reverting to their natural state. Muslims believe everyone was programmed to believe in just a single creator, a single god. Anyway, some of these Muslim reverts are super hardcore and putting the rest of us Muslims to shame. 
so we here at Boss Action Media need to do our part and talk about Islam. Islam can solve a lot of what is wrong with the world. For example, Muslims are required to give 2.5% of their income to charity. Notice I didn't say the mosque or place of worship. I didn't say a certain religious leader. You straight up give 2.5 to charity. And someone did a calculation about how doing so can eliminate poverty within my lifetime. I am not an expert. We here at Boss Action Media just do this as a hobby. Make a few Godzilla videos and call it a day. But branching out does help keep the channel fresh. Plus I really do not want to watch the new animated series Skull Island. But I will probably watch it anyway. It is only 8 episodes 20 something minutes long each. That is not too bad, I guess. I just hope it does not suck. The reviews for it have been mixed. Nothing against it but there is just too much entertainment out there. Between Godzilla, Star Wars, Marvel and sports. I'll just end up watching movies and videos 24 hours a day. Oh, that reminds me I did not even finish watching the series of Godzilla animated movies that Netflix put out a few years ago. I still have to watch the final one. Whatever. But I will say this. I have been popping open the Pluto app and watching parts of random Godzilla movies here and there. I literally have all the movies but for some reason I am more inclined to watch them when they are being played randomly. Anyway, this concludes this video and maybe next week we will discuss why. Godzilla stayed popular over the years. Unless those bastards running Toho. Give us a trailer for Godzilla 2023 in the meantime. Anyway. Thank you for watching and remember if you have to do an action, make it boss.